Just Drinking presents Bacardi Lime. Bacardi. That's Bacardi Lime. You heard it right. We don't do flavors very often. We usually we do different uh, spices and aged and all kinds of different stuff. We don't usually pick out a flavor. So what got us so crazy today? I don't know. I'm guessing just too much rum. <laughs> Already? Already. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, man. All right, so we have Bacardi Lime. Obviously, everybody knows Bacardi, big rum company. Uh, comes in a traditional Bacardi bottle, looks the same. Uh, says Bacardi Lime is expertly blended for an intense fruit flavor with yeah, aromas yeah. of lime zest and natural bright citrus notes mixed with cranberry juice, lemonade for your favorite soda, or create a refreshing cocktail. So, yeah, I mean, this is a, it's a flavored rum. This goes for cocktails, mixed drinks, um, Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, mixing it in for your lime yeah, it looks it, it, it's amazing. I'm 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 already sold. It says right there, refreshing cocktail. Refreshing. You know what I'm in the mood for? I'm in the mood for a refreshing cocktail. Then you're in luck because awesome. I have a bottle for you. All right, and it's back here. <laughs> no, it's right here. <laughs> so we're gonna get right into this one, and we're just gonna crack it open and see what we got. So Bacardi Lime, yes, uh, it, it's a it's a great accent rum. This is one that goes into your typical pops as a nice mixer or a cocktail. So, so what is what is the okay? So it's a thirty five percent, thirty five percent, which is nice for a flavored alcohol. You get it into, is. You get into some of the other flavored stuff. You get yep. down into the twenties. Yeah, it's not you know Bad. a lot. That's good for mixing into <laughs> other stuff. But when you want a single mixer, uh, this one does the job at thirty five percent. So this it's is one nice of the reasons mixer. that I like Bacardi. You know they they know. They, they've got to stick this around 35, 40% or, you know, that they're going to lose customers. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, they'll lose you. Well, absolutely. And they're going to be broken hearted. Yes, they would. They'd Their stock you. would plummet. <laughs> That's not totally inaccurate. <laughs> so obviously uh, the smell of this one is exactly as it says. It's a flavored rum. So it comes off with a nice lime scent over the rum. Nice clear rum, uh, just a, just a nice lime scent. I don't Absolutely. know. I don't know what else to say. Let's let's get it down. Here we go. I mean, it's lime all the way through. Oh yeah, the taste matches the scent. It's delicious. That was that's a boom limey flavor too. It almost feels like you just took rum and squeezed wow. the lime on top of it. I, I'm, like, I'm excited. They did a great I'm... job. Uh, this is one of the better flavored rums that I've ever had, just yeah. because the lime is so. Um, just a nice like punch of lime in it, and it, <laughs> it, is. it doesn't like kill you with that alcohol. So this is even a great. I know people that like to sip rum typically like a little bit more of a rummy or a spice because it's more of like a um, you know a rum enthusiast type yeah, thing. Traditional. Someone who's a backyard rum drinker that's looking for a rum to sip without anything. This is a rum that you could definitely use if you're new to rums and you're just looking for something in the door. You could sip on this for sure. Absolutely. No, none needed. Just some ice. Yep. Sounds like you've got some experience with that. Maybe. <laughs> so I think this one comes in here at 20, 20 ish dollars. So right around twenty, give yeah. or give or take a few bucks, um, right around the twenty dollar mark, which is very typical of flavored rums um, of, of different kinds. And so yeah, it hits that same price. One of my favorite drinks is a Cuba Libre. Okay, Cuba with, Libre, <laughs> which, is, which is just basically a rum and coke, a little bit of lime. With a okay. little bit of lime, but you don't lime. need a non-alcoholic lime because you can just add more alcohol right That's here. That's why I'm excited. Boom. Whoa. Just enhance your drink. Now you only need one instead of two. That's right. Well, why stop there? Just have two and <laughs> two anyway. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. That's yeah. not my job. That's not why we're here. It's not why we're here to That's make these videos. That's a whole other show. So we're going to get these back into the shot glasses. We're going to mix these up into mixed drinks and just see how they go with some mixed pot. Wow. That's not a smooth lime tasting that's, rum and rum and coke type drink. I mean I've got Pepsi. Easy drink. Rum and Pepsi, Diet rum coke. and coke. Uh that's just like basically if you oh, made yeah. a made a typical rum and coke and added some lime to it, you just don't need the, the lime. The, no, you don't. I mean th this is this is an easy drink. Easy drink. You save easy yourself drink. having to buy a lime at the yep. grocery store, you just buy this, you mix it in, the lime's already there, yep. the rum is in it, boom, you're done. You're at thirty five percent, seventy proof. You're, You're done. Good to go. This is what really pops my pop tart. <laughs> oh all right? wow! I've been wondering for a long time. Well, yeah, what pops my pop tart? I'll tell you what pops my pop tart is 
flavored rums that either A, are so sugary and sweet that they just overpower everything else that they touch and it's not very good, and B, the other ones that are, say they're flavored, but they're so alcoholic, all you get yeah. is a very thick alcohol taste with an afterburn of whatever flavor <laughs> yeah, it says. A hint. A hint. That is the biggest problem I have with flavored rums, uh, flavored alcohol in general. I this is not in that category. This is one of the best ones I've ever had for a flavored rum. It's 35%. It's not too alcoholic tasting. It tastes nice and smooth, and it's not too sugary, so it's a great mix. I love it. it, it there it is. It End of rant. I'm done. <laughs> and, and, and I agree 100% with everything that you just said. Yeah, and that's you know, how you normally are. You just agree 100% with everything yeah, that I say. Because not I, really. I'm Anybody that's watching this knows that's not true. But... On this point, I absolutely agree with you 100%. That's Great. one of my pet peeves on this, too. Yeah, so. I, I, I agree. Right in the bottle. Five. Five out of ten. Yep. It's your average bottle. Yeah. You know why I went five? Because it's got the bat. Yeah. The, bat the embossed bat. I like the embossed bat. I like the embossment that they actually did on the bottle. It's a very and standard bottle. Very standard bottle. If I'm you're working with Cardi, don't be afraid to call me. They're Contact afraid. Contact me. They're very afraid. You know, they're I not could sure. be your spokesperson. They're not Tomorrow. sure they want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm just saying. I would be unsure to talk to you as well. Well, yeah. I'm still Anyhow. taking applications. <laughs> as a shot. As a shot. I'm going to give this one, um, you know, flavored rums are on a very different scale than, uh, than regular rum. Yeah, yeah they um, are. But for what it is, what you're paying, everything mm -hmm. all included... Uh, the shot itself, I mean, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Um, maybe a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I don't I, know I don't know in this category what rates I, I, I was going to say, 10. so we got to be clear, because we've rated a lot of rums, and normally, you know, they're they're aged and spiced and all pot-stilled and all these other different categories, okay? But we've never there's really... So many, there's so many categories, and we've never really done, like, a this flavored, flavored of a rum. Of a rum. So, looking at the fact that it's a flavored rum. I, I'm considering the fact that that they came in. It's flavorful. It, it's not overpowering, either with the alcohol uh, flavor or the the lime flavor. They nailed this. Yeah, and, and so you know what? I am absolutely going to agree with you that this is a ten. And would you say the same for the mixed drink? Absolutely. I think the mixed drink's a ten, ten too. I mean, they, in this category, I mean, I'm not putting this one next to a regular spice. Spice no. rum. This is in its no. category of flavored rums. I think it, it, it just hits everything so perfectly that you have yeah. to call it a 10 out of 10. That is Bacardi Lime. You guys need to go out and check yourself out a bottle, especially if you like lime in your drinks already. Make sure to go get it. Uh, try it out with some different cocktails. Try it in uh, mixing it with your favorite rums, but definitely go out, get yourself a bottle, try it out, and let us know what you think today. If you like what we did and you think that Royer is the coolest guy you've ever met, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. We're growing every day. We're doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and we want to keep reviewing rums for you. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's where we'd love to have you. You can also join the Facebook page uh, or the Instagram. We also have a Just Drinking After Hours on Facebook, a group as well, that you are more than welcome to join. And we just appreciate you being here. We hope that you're having a fantastic day. Royer, let's get him home. Always. Drink responsibly, never drink and drive, and no rums were harmed during the making of this video. Absolutely not. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care.